I'm coming out here to work on my fencing. I gotta show you though how much it's grown in. There's my barn behind me. This is all kind of back here we had cleared. You can see it behind me. There's a fence line going that way. I put all the posts in already. It's gonna go way back there. Look at it, it's all green on the ground already. All weeds and stuff. There's little Char oh, Charlie's, Charlie's taking a load off. Oh, he's rolling, he's so funny. I love my horses, they're so much fun. That's why I do all this hard work. I'm getting ready to put the big wooden posts in for the gate. I'm gonna have the gate right through here. Ta-da! Now I'm gonna measure 12 feet. I have a 12 foot gate. Now I have to dig a really, really big hole because that's a huge, huge gate. And uh, that's a lot of work. This hole, I dug it too deep and I actually had to put dirt back in the hole. That's a big waste of time. <laughs> I work hard, and Murphy sleeps hard. Lazy cat. At least he comes over here by me. So I kind of have company. There's the loyal one. Good boy, Lincoln. Lincoln's very loyal. That's a good, good dog. Look how big he is. It's my big puppy. Yes, I got him a huge puppy bone because he's been chewing everything in the farm, which drives me nuts. I have to come over here and show you something, though. Look who's got the puppy bone. And if anybody comes near it, he growls. Okay, look. There's the big pole. I got it over here. I dug the big, big, deep, deep hole. Ta-da! I'm gonna turn it. I don't wanna make anybody dizzy. I hate when people do that, actually. Just so you can see, though, there's some rocks I'm gonna put in the hole. When you're gonna hang something really heavy, like a 12-foot gate, I find that putting the rocks in the bottom really stabilizes the post a lot. So that's what I do, and over the years, I've just noticed that works really good. I just wanted to say that, um, you know, people that want to build a pasture and they think, oh, it's like too hard, I can't do it. Yes, you can. It's like, I did it all by myself. I've put all my pastures up all by myself. And really the key is, it's technique. It isn't really, I mean, you need a certain amount of strength, of course. You have to be patient, don't be in a hurry. And how I tackle it is literally, I'm like one pole at a time. That's how I look at it mentally, just one pole at a time. You would be surprised what you can get accomplished. And it feels so ha you feel so happy, it feels so good to do it. So I just wanna say, if I can do it, you can do it. It's like, give it a try, you know, one pole at a time. That's how I built my log cabin, one log at a time. There we go, look at that. Lots of rocks in there. Rocks and sand alternating. I spray it with the hose. Gotta have water in there. And you would be surprised how good that holds that post in there. It holds it in there really, really good. So funny how I'm like, oh, I'll just go out and do one post because you know, I'm kind of lazy. And then I get out here, I've already done two, you know, two posts and I'm raring to go. I'm gonna do another one. I gotta stand here. He's got he's gotta come to me. If you try to touch him with something, he splits. What is it, Charlie? Can you see yourself? Oh, he's snorty pants. Look at that nose. That's a huge, huge nose and a powerful, powerful mouth. Like freaky, powerful, scary. Big mouth, big ears. Charlie, you can hear a lot and you talk a lot? Hmm? What is that? Oh, Thunder's trying to chase him away. Look at Thunder and Doodles back there. Now, here's Mr. Annoying, who's really not afraid of much until you take him on a drive. Then he's a big sissy. He's not a brave donkey. No, you're not a brave donkey. You're a wimpy donkey. But you're so cute, Doodles. He wants to touch it. Look at him. He's, he's sniffing the handle. <laughs> All the way up the handle, now to the phone. Doodles investigates. I did it. Look at this. Yay, I got him in there. 
all the way across. Whew, last one. Right over here. I gotta stand on my yellow stairs and pound it in with my post hole digger, but you definitely have to use earplugs for that. That is loud. And then I'm gonna go inside. I have my little casserole dish cooking and I made sweet potatoes and fish. But anyway, the good part is I finished my whole pasture and I did it by myself. That's a little, um, well, it's gonna be big, sunflower plant. That one came up, that one. Two of them up there, I should probably pull. Oh no, there's only one now. Oh no, right there's two, I should probably pull one. Those are daisies, very nice big daisies. Grow, little rose bush. All right, I'm back in my house. I'm coming in here to eat my dinner. Let me show my little casserole dish. Love this handy little thing. Right there, I made fish and sweet potatoes with no salt. I have a glass of wine with that. I love showing you guys what I'm up to. <laughs> okay, so I'm putting safety cages on my stirrups. So I had to drill holes and all that. But I need an extra tool I have to get. See, that's what's on my dining table. Tools. And baby chicky food. Also, I got a safety riding vest, which I did have to make a few adjustments on. So it fits my short, fat body. See, I had to sew it a little. And of course, I didn't have blue thread, so I had to use white thread. But I'm gonna color that with a blue Sharpie. But who cares? Look, there's a white line right there. Whatever. I'm not that picky, though, because when you're riding, who cares? You get dirty anyway. I made my fish, but one thing I forgot to show you that I made, <laughs> the best part, look, Rice Krispie Squares with M&Ms on top. So the reason I need those is because it's a gluten-free treat. 